Yeah, you know, today we have a Penn International 30 VSX. That's the uh, <coughs> the clicker's not working. If you push it down, it works. Well, hard to do it like this. But. So I think it's just loose. So we're gonna open this up and see uh, exactly what's wrong with it. Uh, so I'm gonna leave all this stuff on here, and I'll service it afterwards. But we're just gonna confirm this and just do a video on a fix. So I'm just undoing these screws. Let me spray these things down just in case. It's always scary on doing these screws. That one's done. That one's done. But I will say I like them better than the uh, the slotted screws. It's just loose. So all we gotta do is just tighten that back up. Or we're gonna service the real tube. So we see we just have this that needs to be tightened up. Then we have properly functioning uh, um, clicker again. One thing you have to note is that, that there's a little prong on that washer in the bottom. You have to make sure it fits into the slot that's inside that inside the housing and then tighten it down. And I'm going to reset this. I'm not doing the uh Did we get a strip on this? That would suck. No, it's not stripped. I don't think it's stripped. No. Okay. So we're just going to tighten this down and then it should be working again. So now it's secured, no more wobbling. All right, hope that helps some of you guys out there. Again, don't forget that little prong that needs to set inside that hole that's next to it. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.